Jeez. Oh, man. I had a retina once. Oh. Yeah, me. Hey up, troops. Hey, Littleton here again with another video. And this time, we're going to be looking at Maverick. In recent videos, we've covered Thermite, Ace, and Habana. It's only fair we look at the boy Maverick. Maverick has lost his way a little bit in recent times for two reasons. One, he lost his nades, which made him very, very useful. And two, through the introduction of the EMP, the pocket EMP, he's not as critical as to getting walls open, which have already been banditted or caded, because the pocket EMP can get rid of that. However, that doesn't mean he's useless, not by any stretch. He's already got fantastic guns and flashbangs, but some of the lines of sight and some of the things you can do with Maverick's torch make him very much worthwhile picking still today. And now I'm not just saying this to you watch the end of the video. Please do watch the end of the video, by the way. However, there's a point at the end of the video that I make where I'll show you the sort of something Maverick can do. And it might make you think a little bit differently about the way, the way you use him. Is he possibly an entry? A sneaky entry. Sounds daft. Wait until you see what I mean. Other than that, I think that's enough waffling. And if it's up to anyone else but me, let's get stuck into it. So we're going to talk Maverick holes, Maverick lines of sights. However, let's talk about the basics first, Maverick tricking. I think a lot of people know what to do now, but I'm going to show you anyway because we're in a Maverick video. So what you need to do to make this wall completely soft, like we showed with Ace and like we showed with Habana, um, you can make this completely soft using two lines. You're going to need like a book or a sledge or a breaching charge after. Now, bear in mind, you can't put a breaching charge on before this reinforcement's destroyed, but you can book or sledge this out before it's destroyed. A bit of a weird one, that, but there you go. So, to Maverick trick this, essentially, all you've got to do is draw a line from one side of the reinforcement to the other at the top, and then from one side of the reinforcement to the other at the bottom. It's as simple as that. So, all you've got to do is go across the top, and now I've purposely left something not done there, so I want to show you. So you go all the way across to the middle. And now the reason I've left two bits... Oh, I've left that. I've missed that bit. Uh, hang on. There we go. I've left two bits not done there because there's four key points when it comes to Maverick tricking. You've got the bit between the two reinforcements and you've got the bit on the wall. And it's the same there as it is here. And it's the same there as it is here. These are the trickiest bits to make sure that you get right. What I tend to do is just spend a little bit longer getting the edge of the reinforcements. So you just, you can hear the noise when it gets destroyed. You can hear it on both sides. So that now across the top is completely done. And all we've got to do is the same across the bottom. Now, it is easier technically to go prone, but it makes you such an easy target. Don't go prone because you'll get shot in the face. You're probably going to get shot in the feet anyway, but at least you can run away if you need to. Now, if you're doing the bottom of walls like this, you've got to have somebody prone or somebody on repel, not upside down. Or somebody on Rapal who can hold that angle for you. If you do it on your own, it's an absolute death wish. Especially with the way Siege is at the minute. Sort of peak or die type thing. Everyone's peaking everything. So, exactly the same thing across the bottom. Spend a little bit longer doing the edge, remember? You can see that's already done now. And then all the way across the bottom. Try and keep moving if you can. Like, don't stand here and be doing it over here because you're an easy target. Like, try and keep yourself moving along with the cut. Boom. There we go. That wall is now completely soft. Obviously, Maverick used to be able to grenade this, but he can't anymore because he doesn't have grenades. But if you were to come and put a breaching charge on there, it would open. Obviously, a breaching charge is not preferred because you're going to get your ankles shot out. But if you were Buck or Sledge, you could open that now. Remember, if you're playing Buck or Sledge and you're Maverick tricking, you want to open this before Maverick starts Maverick tricking because then when the reinforcement's gone, all this is going to be open. Magic. Sorry, just on a side note there, I've never thought about this before, but I thought maybe I could just shoot it open. And I've just shot that with my M4 and made a vaultable hole. So you can actually just shoot it open with Maverick if you want to. It's obviously a bit of a waste of ammo, but it is possible. I never knew that until this video. I just learned something. Oh, and uh, don't forget to shoot the radio. So one more little trick when it comes to Mav tricking. If you've ever got a single panel wall, so if you want to Mav trick this down here in Dirt Tunnel single panel wall there on construction or any other single panel reinforced wall all you need to do you don't need to go all the way across that will work but you don't need to do that all you need to do is look at this star or this bolt and look at this bolt and make the same size line across the top and then exactly the same thing at the bottom as well so you want to start out here go across the top in line with that bolt and with that bolt and then the same at the bottom Oh, 
Can we miss something at the top? There we go. We just missed a little bit at the top there. I was a little bit confused there. It can be difficult when in the... You see how much higher this wall is um, when you're trying to get higher up because we're trying to get to the top before. We were only mapping like here, trying to get higher up there. But the point is, you're not really admittedly going to use this very often, right? Like, you're not really going to be mapping into single walls all that often. But save yourself a little bit of work there and there and you can save yourself a little bit better work there and there. Not going to use it that often, but it's nice to know. Right, so let's get on to why we're here then. So some decent lines of sight for Maverick, and we'll start with two on Clubhouse then. First one's down here on Dirt Tunnel. Get it up, not right at the top, but just above where um, where head height is. This one's really, really obvious, by the way. Get it all the way across like that. If you go back to the back of the map here, you're going to be able, not that far, Andy, you're going to be able to look down Dirt Tunnel. You can see Bandit there. It's something that's handy. It, again, you don't really get that many defenders pushing all the way up Dirt Tunnel. So, look, don't hold it against me too much. It's just something that's worth knowing. Thank you for your help, Bandit. On to the next. Now, there's two nice angles to know on the CCTV Wars Maverick. One is dead obvious, and people have done it for years, and that's the Maverick hold down on the bottom left here, whilst you've got someone on repel. Genuinely, now, this used to work two years ago, and it still works to this day. It's a free kill at the start of the round every single time, I'm telling you. All you need to do is have somebody on repel here looking on this angle towards top red, Somebody's got to be ready on this angle of red. Don't make the Maverick hole and then come and get on this angle. You've got to do it with a teammate. They've got to be here, ADS, waiting and ready. And then as Maverick, all you do is go prone and make a line of sight across the bottom of the wall. Oh, not like that. Like this. That's all you do. I can guarantee a kill. I'm not going to say every round. I reckon a kill 85% of the time. To give you an idea of what angle that is, you can see now across the way to top red and through the door here. There's the amount of traffic that passes through here at the start of the round, because you're going to be doing this within 20, 30 seconds. The amount of traffic that passes through here when they're still setting the site up is insane. And as long as you've got somebody here ready to peek it as you make the holes, it works really, really well. The next one is when you make the breach with Ace or Thermite, make it on the left side. And then if you're playing Maverick on the right side, get on Repel, make a line of sight across the top corner here. This is really good, by the way. This works all the time. I play in like mid-diamond lobbies, and I kill the person on rafters doing this every time. Just get the top right. Remember, don't let Thermite do the, the right-hand side of the wall, otherwise you're not going to be able to do this. But just like make a slight map torch hole to the top right-hand side of that reinforcement, and look what we've got on rafters. Classic as army, playing classic as army things. And through that line of sight and through that rotate, you're going to be able to hold the corner of rafters on 90. You don't even need to make it this wide. But from um, as army's point of view, it's really difficult to see this because there's going to be an ace or a thermite charge here. So that's what they're worried about. They're worried about the main breach. They're not looking at this nasty little angle up in the corner. But you can see as army's head there. To give you an idea, if I just make a, a sweet little... Uh... Bear with me. If I go and join his army here, like you can, I know we, I, I always say this, don't I, that we know it's there, therefore it's really obvious, but that isn't really obvious mid game when you've got somebody opening this door, you've got the breach open here, and you've got drones coming up here like this. Can we hip fire the drone? Yeah, we can. We're unreal. I don't know why I just did that. Like, I, I didn't need to do that. I've lost my head a bit. But it's a really, really solid angle, and it's just, it's not easy to fight back on. It's just a good thing to do, and I, I assure you, you'll get the person off rafters quite easily if you do that. Really nice angle to know. So one at the bottom, one at the top. Let's move to a different map. So we're on to Chalet now, and we're going to show you two on here. This one is a bit more obvious, but the one around the back is way more sneaky, and I don't think as many people know. This one, you want to just make a line of sight across the top of the garage. Obviously way above head height. And then what you want to do is have a teammate on repel. Now, you can do this and then get on repel yourself, but these lines of sight work a lot better if you've got a teammate in place ready to take advantage of these lines of sight. So to get the repel command, you've got to go up to this pillar. And now, as you can see, we can start repelling across here. Look at Oryx and Blue. We can get the default cam. That's helpful. We can hold Blue Door. We can hold into Connector. We can hold the rotate on a little tight angle. We can also hold the back of this bootcase that people like to play behind these days. Just a really nice line of sight. And it's a really great way of catching defenders off. Like head glitching over there, like holding into blue. Look at Oryx's, uh, Oryx's dome there. Like unreal angle. But you've just you've got to be quick with it. You're just as dangerous to get shot here. Obviously, it's it's a two way hole. Don't start swinging yourself around like Spider Man. Um, but at the same time, if you've got someone ready to like be holding blue like this, and you make that line of sight. 
whoever's around that blue door is, is in trouble. Now, the other one is on the other side of the map, and as always, if I was any good at editing, we'd edit this bit out, but I quite enjoy the downtime that we spend together running to the other side of the map. What did you have for your dinner? I had, like, this lemon chicken thing that my, uh, very kind other half made, but it was, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Don't tell her I said that, though. Um, I'm not complaining, though. I'm grateful that she made dinner for us all. Thank you very much, if you're listening. <laughs> Right, the next one's on this wall. Let me just dip onto the other PC and bring Oryx around the other side of blue very quickly. Hang on. Um, she's not listening, thank God. Right, so Oryx is now in blue here. And what we want to be doing here is using a bit of a sneaky boost spot, which doesn't even look like there is a boost spot here, right? What we want to do is use these bolts, which are slightly above head height, right? So you want to be going like this. Now, we know that that's above head height, and we've got no danger of getting shot in the face. And as a defender, you should probably look at that and think the same thing, right? You think, oh, there's no danger of this. Just bear in mind, defenders can stand on this, by the way, and, and look through. But, as a defender, to stand there, when you've got this door here, you'd have to be a lunatic. Um, so what you're going to do is, you can't see through that now, obviously. However, you've got this box on the floor here. And if you, you don't have to crouch up to it, you can just walk up to it. But you see we go up there? Well, now you go up, you can see into blue. And depending on the height you make this line, obviously, you, don't, you can't go too high, you're not going to see anything. But you can just hold an unreal head angle on the all of blue door. And the amount of defenders that will play blue door, and what they'll do is hold... you have to move out the way a bit, Oryx. They'll hold an angle like this onto the door, or they'll hold an angle like this onto the door. And it happens all the time. But yeah, just walk up to that box. Up you go, turn around, and have a look. Perfect head height. That might even be a little bit too high. Like, you could make an argument to make that teeny a little bit lower. You see a little bit more of a, a blue door there. But using these bolts as a reference and just slightly above. Just bear in mind, if you shoot this box or if you melee this box, it disappears and you can't get back on it. So don't do that. But I think this is a cracking little one to get rid of the person on blue door. On to Oregon now. And have you ever tried to take Big Tower as Maverick, but there's somebody playing here and they're difficult to get out because it's a decent cover point? Well, don't worry. Watch this. So, we're obviously we're going to be on Big Tower this side, as normal. Now, what you can do is, you need a teammate up on this beam here, and we're going to make a line of sight as high as we possibly can. You're going to be able to see onto behind that box. Now, if you zoom in with the torch, you will be able to get a slightly further range. So aim as high as you can. And you probably need to, if you move your ADS so slow when you, uh, when you zoom down. And just make it a thick-ish line of sight. Perfect. Now, you're going to have a teammate up on these rafters. Don't do that and then climb the ladders because you're probably going to get shot in the arse. Um, or ass for my American uh, teammates out there. Now, look at the angle you get here on the uh, on the back of the box. Now, bear in mind that if you'd have done this yourself and climbed up here, you're going to get shot when you drop because Bandit's going to see you, right? Whereas if you've got a teammate here... I know we've said this loads, but it's definitely true for this. Now you've got a teammate here waiting. Just open that line of sight, and anyone who thinks they're playing clever in behind there is going to struggle. A little love tap to let him know we're there. Now, don't forget, you can also... I don't know why I've jumped off there, because I still want to carry on talking about it. You can move down the rafter a little bit and see a little bit further down into pit. You can't see all the way into pit, usually, without the risk of falling off. But anyone playing around that... Uh, hello. That's what I'm saying, without falling off. But anyone playing around that top bit of pit there, or anyone looking at the attic window, trying to get a, an angle onto uh, outside big window on the, the long... You know what I mean? From the attic window, looking towards big window, you're going to be able to see that there, because that's the attic bottom of the attic window there. You can, like, peek along there and get a, bit, a little bit spicy. Now, the other thing that people do, which is a really good idea, is making a line of sight across the bottom here. And if you go down onto the steps here, you can take cover, and then you can peek onto pit. Really good thing to do. However, make sure you make some holes here first. I always like making a little smiley face. Because then at least it means that they've got to worry about that a little bit. Because it's always risky when you make those lines and then you run back down the stairs. You think you might get shot in the ankles. But just make sure you make some holes that they have to worry about up here. Then do this and then move down. Um, and then, of course, you want to then breach through this side. Come down the side of the wall. Make a nice semicircle. Oh. Job done. In your pop. Oh, dear. Another thing, by the way. Once you've made the holes high like that, you can use them. I try to make them a little bit lower. But you can use them to uh, to flash down into pits. Throw flashes over there. Get them down into pits. And then push. Don't just push down here blind because it's a nightmare. The other thing I was going to show you on... Oh, shoot the absolute... Out of that radio. 
The other thing I was going to show you is something that we already talked about with Ace, but you can do exactly the same thing with Maverick. You know the little boost spot here where you get a little bit higher on the wardrobe? You can do exactly the same thing with Maverick. You can't see anything through there. However, bob up on there and we can see into Attic just about head height. Probably needs to be a little bit lower if I'm being honest. That's probably more like it. You can see into Attic there. If that's probably too low, go somewhere between those two lines. You know what I mean? But you, you're not really going to be playing Maverick and coming to this side of the map on Oregon. But I know we talked about it with Ace, but you can do exactly the same thing with Maverick. Maverick is an absolute god at taking Big Tower because it doesn't matter what it's got on there. And it's the same for every wall. That's why Maverick's so good, right? It doesn't matter if this is banditted, caded, makes no odds. If, as long as you've got Maverick, you're bringing it with him. You see what I'm saying about, like, it's, it's not easy for a defender to see. You just pre-fire that and hope for the best as a defender. But with a little 1.5 on Maverick there, it's just a really solid angle. And getting anyone out from behind this box is a beauty from the beam. Right, cheers, Bandit. On to the next. Thank you. On to Cafe now, and there's a couple of ways of doing this. I, I really like this angle, and I don't do it anywhere near enough. I think it's because I did die doing this once. Like, I got shot through the hole, and it really put me off doing it. But it's still a really good angle. But you're just going to use all the different things you can vault on in here to get an angle through to various parts of kitchen. So let's just start here. If you if you like with the, if you get blah, 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 try again, Andy, put your teeth in. If you're going to be vaulting on this table or this table, you want the hole to be a little bit lower. You want it to be around here. And you can get back on this table, and you can see over into the far excuse me, into the far side of kitchen through the kitchen units, and obviously towards the freezer window there as well. Now what you can do is you can make it a little tiny bit higher if you wanted to. And then you could vault up onto this. And now, if you want to ever vault onto this, you don't go head onto it. You go on this, like, really janky angle on the left side here, like that. And you'll vault all the way up onto the other, um, like, bakery counter as well. And then, I mean, from here, you can see pretty much everything. The only thing is, and you can see Bandit's head there, it's just fairly obvious from the other side, like, if there's someone there. There's just something about the background lighting. As soon as you see a head there, I don't know, it just becomes pretty obvious, but... I think it's because this wall rarely ever gets Mavericked. Like, you don't really bring Maverick to Bakery. Um, so if there's a line there, I think the defenders sometimes are a bit more ready for it. But you can also run from there onto this. Not like that. This takes me ages to do this when I put Maestro camera up here. I do this every time. I did it last night when I was streaming. Like, run too far. There we go. So you can also go a bit further back rather than being so close on here. And, um, yeah, and hold to various parts of, uh, of the kitchen. Obviously, if you then crouch, you could see through. If they had a line of sight across the top, or you can make one yourself, you can see through into the other parts of the kitchen at the back there as well. But I really like it. I think, in theory, it should work really well, as long as there's pressure coming from prep as well. But you could get away with it. But I, di I died once, like, six months ago, and it's always put me off doing it again. But if you have any luck with it, then please let me know. Cheers, bandits. Right, then here's a cheeky one for Night Haven. And I do this all the time, but with Ace using one Salma at the top of the, the wall here. But what we can do instead is use Maverick to make a line. Now, it needs to be a slightly thicker line than normal. But right at the top of the wall here, make it about halfway across. And then I'll tend to make a small one as well. Sorry, a, a wider one. Just like that. Obviously, it's way more than head height, so you don't have to worry about that. Now... You can't. I do this myself when I'm playing aces. I'll make a, a breach here and then a hole higher up. And then I'll cut. one, you can hold this, by the way. You can hold the door from here. But two, this angle is really, really fruity. Come all the way across to this sort of um, roof area type thing here. Now, from here, you can hold the head glitch um, on top of the, the jump up there. But you can also hold the electrical door, which is where we're going to find Alibi. You see Alibi there? We can hold the electrical door from way back here. If you go prone, you can see a head. Obviously, if we'd have made that Maverick um, hole slightly higher, in fact, you know what? Let's just do that. We're not in a rush, are we? Make the Maverick hole slightly higher. So I just learned something there as well when I'm doing this with Maverick. I've only ever done it with Ace before. But I knew you'd be able to do it with young Maverico. And uh, let's try that again. So obviously now it's much easier to hold the head glitch over the top of the jump up there. But also now onto electrical door, you don't need to go prone, you can just hold all the electrical door. So yeah, higher up on the wall around that area, we just learned something together. Um, and yeah, you, anyone that pushes out of electrical door, you've got them. Like, it's so hard to see that from the defender's point of view. There's no one's looking up there at all. Everyone's looking at the breach that's been opened here. And no one's, I mean, like, no one's looking at there, are they, let's be honest. Um, but just obviously don't just stand right out in the open, at least sort of hug up against this side of the wall. 
yeah, really, really solid angle and a good one for Night Haven because not everyone knows every uh, sort of tip and trick on Night Haven yet anyway. Right then, two more tips or, or tricks or whatever you want to call them with Maverick before we call it a day. And this one, I'm going to call the Maverick Rush. Maverick now is not useless by any stretch because we've seen how useful he can be in the video we've done, but he's not as strong as he used to be given the fact that a team can bring pocket EMPs and the fact that uh, a team, uh, sorry, and the fact that Maverick doesn't have nades anymore. So he's not as strong as he was, but he's still very strong. He still is one of the only operators without a counter. However, did you know you can also consider burning barricades quickly to get in the building? So if you ever want to get in the building without um, breaking the whole barricade, like you see some people do, you want to hit the bottom of the yellow X and then panel number two. So you see how the panels are split up? You can see here, but it's like panel one is here, panel two, panel three, panel four, panel five. So you want to punch panel 5 and panel 2. It's the same with the Maverick Torch. So Maverick um, Torch, panel 2. Sorry, panel 5. And panel 2. And in we go. How quiet is that? How quiet is that? So if, let me just run to another barricade quickly and show you it again. So Maverick down from panel 5 to panel 2. And look how fast you're in the building. Oh, of course I've had to recharge. Literally not a sound and you're in. So, I think that's a really solid way. If you wanted to be aggressive with Maverick and you wanted to rush, and you were on a side that didn't need Maverick, he's got an insanely good gun. Arguably as good as what I think the R4C used to be, but slightly not as, fire, uh, as high a fire rate. He's got flashbangs. Like, he's actually a really fast and decent assault operator, entry operator, whatever you want to call it. Imagine getting in barricades like that here. Like, within 30 seconds, you could open this barricade, be round pushing on site, and no one would even hear the barricade go. It's something that I haven't tried really when I've been playing on the in ranked, but I'm probably going to try it now. I've been thinking about it. I saw, I think it was Rasko I saw do it first. Shout out Rasko. Recently got a charm. Sub to Rasko 100 on Twitch for a charm. Um, I think it was Rasko I saw do it first, and I thought, wow, that's pretty useful. But I don't really play C's like fast and aggressive, but maybe I'll try it. But yeah, pretty useful thing to do. Right then, last tip with Maverick. But Andy, you're not playing Maverick. Correct, we're playing Glass, but we're going to work with Maverick. So, what a team did at, I believe it was the Sweden Major? Yongshipping Major? I could be wrong. Was a really smart trick on the clubhouse CCTV wall. Now, what's going to happen is Ace... Uh, Ace? Why have I said Ace? No one here is Ace. Glass throws his smoke on the floor, which will propagate to the other side of this wall. And before the attackers know what's going on, Mav makes a little hole in the wall, and and Glaz, I keep saying Ace, what the hell is wrong with me? Glaz is ready to peek through that hole that Mav has made, and of course it's already smoked, so the defenders can't see through. Now, I'm going to do this on my own, and I've got two mice and two keyboards here, so this isn't as smooth as it normally would be, but if I take Mav up to the wall, and my other, like my recording PC has the worst GPU in the world, it's currently on... Uh, 11 FPS, so it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but you'll see what I mean. So, smoke grenade goes down, Mav gets his torch out and makes a hole, moves out of the way, we then peek the hole and we can have a look at what's going on inside. Obviously this, this is where they have that line of sight normally, we can look around the corner and what's going on to this door, all the while it's smoked out and the defenders can't see through the other side. Now bear in mind, the way we've just done that is, is pretty poor. Um, I'm doing it on my own, so give me a break. But if you do this with a team, I did this with a, a stack I was playing with, a, I don't know, about a week ago, eight days ago, and we got two kills. One person on this door who was peeking the, cut the hole and one person on this door. I was the maverick, though. I wasn't the glass. So I didn't get the kills. That's always the problem, isn't it? You're always the enabler. We're, never, we're always like the, the bridesmaid, never the bride. Um, but yeah, it's a good trick. It works on every reinforced wall, especially where there's heavy traffic on the other side. Just make sure you smoke beforehand. Smoke first. Then uh, Mav Mav's the hole, and then you look through and see what's on the other side. Nice one, Mav. Can't see it. Oh yeah, cannon glass. Thank you. He's on my own team. I forgot about that. So there we have it. There's Maverick. I still think he's worthwhile taking. He's just sunk into this sort of, I don't know, into this sort of category of is he still good or not? Well, yeah, he is. But are there now better options to take? Possibly. I still think he's class, and obviously he's got the elevate weapon skin, which is well worth taking on its own. If you've watched this video 10 times, if you've watched it for 10 minutes, or if you've watched it for 10 seconds, thank you. I say it every video, today's no different. This channel's nothing without people that watch the videos, and that's you, yes, you. So thank you very much for getting involved. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Cheers.